This simple demo will demonstrate the integration between Excel 2013 and SharePoint 2013 for publishing business intelligence dashboards quickly and easily. I'm just going to open up a blank workbook and on the open sheet I'm going to enter some simple data. This is a very small table with ID, name, and amount. You just click inside the table and you go to the Power Pivot menu option. And from there, you can add that data to the Power Pivot data model. You can see that it automatically identifies the data in the table. The column names are there, so I'm going to check the headers checkbox. And this will open the Power Pivot management window. And I'm going to do a few things here. So I'm going to go into the diagram view and I'm going to rename the table to something a little bit more interesting. And then I'll go back to my Excel workbook and from the formulas menu item, I'm going to click Name Manager, and I'm also going to rename that Excel worksheet table. So back inside the Power Pivot window, I'm going to choose to add a pivot chart. This chart will be added back to the original workbook, so I could put it on a new worksheet or put it on the same worksheet as the data. I'll choose a new worksheet. My fields are available over in the Pivot Chart Fields window. I'm going to add the amount into the Values section, and now you'll see the total amount for all sales. And I'm going to add the name to the Axis or Categories section, which will break it down by the individual name. So right now the names are sorted alphabetically, but if I go up to the Name field and drop it down, you'll see there's more sort options there. And I'm going to choose to sort these descending by the amount of sales. I'm also going to make name a slicer so that if I choose I can select individual names or I can select multiple names for comparison. So now I can slice by a single name or I can choose multiple names. And I can clear out the slicers by clicking on the little icon in the top right, the little funnel. Now I'm going to just do a little cleanup. I'm going to delete some things that I don't necessarily want to see on my chart. I'm going to change my title. I'm going to hide the buttons on the chart by right-clicking one of them. Under the File menu, you can click Options, and these will also give you some additional features that will clean this up and make it look better when you deploy it to your SharePoint server and someone is viewing it in a web browser. For instance, I don't want to see the grids, I don't want to see the, the column headers, the ABCs, and then one, two, threes down the side. So you can, all, you can do all of that from within the options under File.
on the design tab I'm going to add a few more tweaks to make the visual appearance a bit better for web deployment. You can change the background colors or the colors of the columns. You have a lot of control in 2013 and a lot more options than you have in previous versions of Excel for making this visually appealing. And under the page layout menu you have the ability also to change the colors or add some 3D effects or apply a theme. I'll just choose one of the built-in themes and you can see how that will change the look and feel of the chart and the slicers. And for one last visual tweak, I'm going to select an empty cell somewhere and then do a control A to select all and change my background color of my worksheet. Notice I have a selected cell in my worksheet, so I'm going to actually hide that cell behind the slicer by using my arrow keys so that it doesn't show up on the website when you open it up. And add a little feature that I don't want. Also when you deploy this to SharePoint any of the tabs of your worksheet that are visible in your worksheet in your workbook will also be visible on the website. I don't want users to see my data tab so I'm going to set that to be hidden. I'll save my file on my desktop just to make it easy for me. So it was easy enough to create a chart, but now I've got my SharePoint site open and the really exciting part begins because I can now share my chart with anybody who has access to my SharePoint site. I just click on the site contents, I choose my dashboards, and I can just drag and drop that file I created, the Excel file, right onto my SharePoint site and it will immediately upload it and then it will be available to anybody who can get to this web page. I'll just go ahead and click on my dashboard object that I just added. The Excel services start up and my chart is visible now in a web browser. I can test out my slicers to make sure that my data is working. Notice down in the bottom I do not see the data tab, I only see the sales tab. And this is a far more manageable way to share your chart than to give somebody your Excel workbook because their version of Excel might not be compatible and that can cause corruption and they might not see your chart the way you want it to be viewed.